AT&T is in the fast lane today as it readies itself to test speedy 5G technology. So in easy terms, 5G technology is 10 to 100 times faster than today's average 4G connections over cellular. Joining us now to explain all of this, Ben Fox Rubin, reporter over at CNET. So, so, so Ben, besides these super fast downloads, right, what else does 5G technology mean and how can it change, say, my life in my everyday course of action? For, for consumers, 5G might actually be so fast that you could replace your home broadband with it and actually get even faster speeds. No, really? Yeah, 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 absolutely. And it would be completely wireless. So that would be pretty impressive. And that wouldn't be such a huge game changer for AT&T and Verizon. Verizon is also testing out 5G right now, or it's planning to this year, um, because they already provide home broadband or they, they provide uh, home internet service. But um, you could potentially download a movie within a couple seconds instead of a couple minutes. You could stream on your TV, super high quality. So there are a number of things for consumers that um, kind of provide this really gee whiz uh, capability with 5G. You know, that's been a knock, right? Because everyone who's out there buying these 4K UHD TVs, there's no content out there for it right now. So maybe this is an enabling type technology for it. But AT&T, Ben can't do this on its own. What other tech companies is it teaming up with and how are they all going to collaborate to make this ecosystem really work? Yeah, AT&T is working with Ericsson and Intel specifically for this um, Verizon with their tests. Uh, I think they're partnering with a bunch of other folks as well. 5G is such a big concept that they really are going to need a handful of different folks to come together and try to figure out what exactly 5G is, how do we make it work. And it's important to also remember that we're talking about these field tests right now, but 5G isn't actually expected to hit the wide market um, until around 2020. All right, so so that kind of gets me to the point. I mean, I remember the days of GSM versus PCS versus the 3G con you know, conventional networks versus what we have with 4G, LTE. So when and where can we expect the testing to actually begin? I mean, we know that they're trying to kick this off. Where and when is it going to happen? AT&T is going to be in Austin. Uh, so that's, that's where they're going to start their testing. And they're planning on doing it a little bit later this year. All right, so that's the AT&T side of things. This is similar to what Verizon announced earlier this year. You alluded to it earlier, right, for Verizon. Yeah, Verizon Who also said that they're planning on, they, they, I think they announced it in September that they're also planning on doing it this year. So this is like a race. Verizon has a bit of a head start. at and getting in. Who's going to be the first in the race to reach customers with this type of technology? And, and again, when do you expect it to really hit mass market wholesale? You said 2020, but can we see it a little bit sooner than that? Um, it might even be later than 2020. I mean, we're talking four years out, which in technology terms is a really long time. 5G has an enormous amount of promise. It's expected to enable all sorts of things like virtual reality, self-driving cars, different things like that. So I said 2020, that's the general expectation right now. But um, with a lot of things with tech, there are a lot of moving parts to it. So it's possible that it could even be later than that. And just because Verizon announced a couple months before AT&T, that doesn't really mean too much uh, this early in the game. Gotcha. So it looks like the two biggest players, at least in telecom, are jockeying for position in that big 5G race. Ben Fox Rubin, thank you so much. That's Ben Fox Rubin, a reporter over at CNET. And thanks for watching. I'm Dominic Chu. Have a great day. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.